everybody, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads and I am going to show you guys how to make a friendship bracelet that spirals around like a spiral staircase. For this, reach into your kids' bead box and get out your satin cording, which is that colorful thick cord, and I'm going to show you how to do this square knot in a spiral pattern. So if you haven't already watched the bracelet tutorial for doing this square knot friendship bracelet, go ahead and watch that first because that's going to be a little bit easier than learning how to do it in this spiral. If you've already learned this one, congratulations and join me for making this spiral. So this is our flat square knot friendship bracelet. We're going to now do a spiral staircase bracelet. I have two different colors of my satin cording and I've cut them both to about three feet. So I have six feet total of my satin cording and this is going to be for kind of an average size 10 year old kids bracelet. Keep in mind if you have a bigger bracelet you may want to cut a little bit more. I have two pieces of cord that are both three feet long. So I've got my three feet of cord there. I'm going to hold the ends of both my purple and green cord and measure about 12 inches and turn the cord over upon itself so you have a little bit of a loop. You'll have one foot or 12 inches on one side and then you'll have the longer one on the other side. So one's going to end and one's going to go further. I'm going to take that turned over area there and make an overhand knot. We're going to twist the, that loop around your finger, take that loop and go it through all four of those pieces that you just did. Make the knot big enough that your pinky can fit inside. If you have a really tiny pinky, you might want to make it just a little tiny bit bigger. We need to make sure that we have it big enough that when we tie a knot on the other side, it'll fit onto it. From here, we're going to put our long purple piece on the right hand side and we're going to put our long green piece on the left hand side. We're going to put our two shorter pieces that are about 10 inches now right down straight through the middle. We're going to make what I call Snoopy's ear. So we are going to make Snoopy here on the right side by taking our purple or violet cord and we're going to make a little four and go through and over top. So you see how that kind of looks like Snoopy's head there? We're going to cross that purple over top of the middle two cords. My green cord is going to come over the top of that purple cord that we just made Snoopy's head with. I'm going to lift up the two middle pieces and I'm going to take that green cord and push it underneath those two and through Snoopy's head. For the flat spiral look, you're going to keep making Snoopy's head with the purple one. So that's going to turn out flat like this. On the spiral one, you're always going to make Snoopy's head on the right hand side. So this time it's with the green that I make Snoopy's head there. I take my purple over top of the green cord that I made with Snoopy's head. Take that purple underneath those two middle strands and up through Snoopy's green face. Give a nice tight pull. Now I'm going to go back again on my right side. And if you need to and it makes it easier, go ahead and tape that top down. Or you can pin it down to your bead mat. I'm going to make Snoopy again with my purple. Take that green over the top of the purple that I made Snoopy's head with. Right there. Lift up the middle and take that green underneath and through Snoopy's head. Give a nice tight pull and you're going to see how it's starting to spiral already. Snoopy now is green. Purple goes over Snoopy's, the back of his head kind of, underneath the two pieces in the middle and the purple is going to come through the green Snoopy head. Pull both the right and the left pieces and give a nice tight pull. Snoopy's now purple. Green goes over top of Snoopy. The green goes underneath the two middle cords and out through the front of Snoopy's head. Give a nice tight pull. Again, right side, go over with the purple, underneath the two cords in the middle that are always staying in the middle, 
And now the purple comes through Snoopy's green head. Keep going, right side, over top of the left, underneath the middle strands, and through the middle. Remember with this video, you can always pause the video or slow it down in your YouTube settings. Going over, Snoopy is now green, over top with the purple, underneath the two middle strands, and through Snoopy's green head. Keep going, always on the right hand side. I'll do it a little bit quicker so you can see how I hold my hands. Everyone's going to have a different technique, how you hold your hands and what works best for you. Now I'm green over top of the purple, underneath through the bottom, and down. When my daughter does this, she's 10, she likes to tape down the end of the knot. Just we use some regular painter's tape so that way we don't hurt our satin cording. Go ahead and pull and keep going. Always Snoopy on the right side. Again, if you wanted to learn how to do it that it lays flat, check out that other video, which is going to be Snoopy's head switching from side to side, always using one of the same colors. If you want your spiral to be all the same color, rather than spiraling the green and the purple like that, you can do this all with one color of your satin cord. If you do one color and alternate sides, you get this nice flat square stitch. If you have two different colors and you alternate right and left, you get this nice design. You can play around with the different designs that you're getting as you go in and create this nice spare spiral staircase. Go ahead and continue doing this nice spiraled square knot, alternating the colors because you're always starting on that right hand side. If you are a lefty, go ahead and turn upside down and look at the computer backwards or just do it with your left hand and get ready to start that way. Continue on building onto that spiral staircase to get this nice spiraled square knot friendship bracelet. Once you get your spiral staircase done, if you kind of look, it kind of becomes mesmerizing to spin, you can go ahead and finish it off with a knot, or what you can do is if you want to, you can tie it on to your wrist. If you want to tie it on, take your center strands, go through the loop here, take the others, and just do an overhand knot, knotting on to the other two. You can then with the satin cording, pull it off, put it on, pull it off, put it on. The other thing you can do is a nice overhand knot over all three of those strands. So just like we did, or all four of those strands, just like we did at the beginning with the loop. You're gonna take all four strands, go around your finger, and then take all four of those and tuck them through the loop that you make. Give a nice tight knot and pull. Once you have that pulled, take all of those strands, go through the loop, and make sure that your knot is big enough. If it's not big enough, if your knot is not big enough, there's a tongue twister for you. If your knot is not big enough to hold it when you put it on and kind of pull like that, then you need to make your knot bigger with some of your extra strings by going in and actually tying them on top of that knot to make a bigger or thicker knot like Bella had to do here on hers. So you can see here is the flat one with that square stitch friendship bracelet and here is the spiral square stitch friendship bracelet. If you want to, a really awesome challenge is to take your wax linen cording if you have the bead box and do this with the wax linen cording. Start out with about five feet of thread one foot going down that center and four feet on the sides. You can add beads then into the stitch and have fun creating with that smaller materials, adding on beads along with the design. I hope you kids had as much fun as I did today working with our satin cording and learning how to do some friendship bracelets in that spiral staircase way. Remember to try this out with some of the other great materials that are in your bead box as well. Remember, if you do get addicted, like many of us do, you can have a parent check out the links below the video to shop with us more online at PotomacBeads.com. Remember to give us a little thumbs up if you liked the video, and also with a parent's help, comment below and type in what you made, what colors you used, if you added a charm, or any design ideas that you have to pass on to other kid beaters like you. 
As with all of these designs too, you can hit that little corner box with your parents to subscribe to get regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads with new bead box ideas, with new examples, and with new jewelry making tutorials. As always guys, thanks so much for learning and having fun making along with me. Enjoy your new Spiral Staircase Friendship Bracelet. Have a great time for the rest of your day. Bye, everybody.